Welcome once again to our weekly player show here on Talk 101.3 The Buzz. I'm your host, Gary Omers. We talk with Barris each week about the last week's game, about the upcoming game, and being joined today by two seniors, Jess Rogers to my left, Jackson Wilson to my right, a defender and a offensive player. Well, he plays both ways there too, but guys, welcome to the show. Let's talk about a little bit about Tyner last week. Uh, come out, we knew they were down a little bit from the championship year, but we come out and we hit them hard to start with, and from that point on, it seemed like it went downhill from them and so forth. But Jarris, uh, what was the key last week? Getting off to a quick start or I know on defense, we shut them down basically. So what do you think the key would was? The key? Yeah. Uh, cooperating as a team. Cooperating you know, as a team. It's against success, yeah. It, 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 the defensive back where you're playing, is that a big communication? Is that a huge important part of that? I mean, are you are you talking to your teammates out there and say, hey, I'm going this way or I'm doing this, yeah, whatever? communication is a big important. It's really important in defense. What is what? What are you looking for when you're in the backfield? Uh, if, if the quarterback's rolling out, are you chasing a receiver, potential receiver over here? Or are you you trying to play a zone? What what are you what are you keying on to stop them or shut them I'm down? I'm gonna find anybody that's in my area. In your um, area, there. Yeah. So. Okay. Jackson, linebacker, running back. What's your key when you're at linebacker? Are you looking for? I mean. When we played McMinn County, Coach Floyd told me then, he said, I don't look for our defensive line to make a lot of stops because of that wing tee. But he said, I'm really relying on our backers because if, if our defensive backs are making tackles, then we're probably in trouble. But are, is there something that you key on as a linebacker? Uh, just guard reads. Guard Where the reads. guards go, most of the time the ball's going yeah. that way. So, Well, you got to carry the ball a lot last week with, with Jay Allen sitting out. Eight carries, I think 70-something yards, 74 yards, a running touchdown, a pass reception for a touchdown. Do you like hitting people on defense or do you like uh, hitting people on offense better? Uh, either way, it doesn't matter to me. Just as long as you're in the game? Yes, sir. Uh, do you actually like laying a lick on some guys when they catch the ball or try to catch the ball? Oh, yeah, for sure. Huh? For sure. <laughs> That's probably fun to be in the defensive back, isn't it? Mm -hmm. uh, other sports, uh, tell us what you play here at Brady besides football. Uh, all I do is play football and basketball. Football and basketball. Sports. Jackson football is your sole sport right here. That is it. Both of you guys are seniors. And, and your background, I've asked you this before, and I probably asked you this too. You guys played together at Lake Forest. Come off a really successful program down there under Coach Green. I think you went three years with only one loss in three years. Uh, playing together, has that helped you uh, know each other better and your other teammates like, you know, Demarius Ballard and people like that you played with? And that, our team this year, all those things are basically – the vast majority of them are from Lake Forest from that same team there. And that, does that help you up with camaraderie and the team chemistry and stuff like that? Uh, I'll let either one of you answer there. Uh, yes, sir, it does. It really helps out. I mean, and us getting to grow up together, we've we've changed a lot and we see it in each other and we're, you know. Had a lot of success together. Yes, sir. And got trust, I guess, in each other too. Jarius, tell me, when you look at the film of Maribel, what do you see there? I know it's going to be a tough game, but what's, What's going to be our key to stopping them, you think? To stop them? Yeah. Uh, Coach Floyd says they're going to try to run the ball and run the ball and run the ball. We just got to compete. We just got to compete. You got to compete. You got to come out with the mindset. Team. Yeah. Be the bigger team, more aggressive. Yeah. Yeah. Well, they have a huge line. I think you said three guys that's 6'6", 300 pounds. You know, that's a huge, that's a college line there. And, Jackson, I know uh, you guys are looking forward to this. We've not beaten them when you guys have been playing. Matter of fact, it's been... 14 straight losses to them. We, we didn't play them for a long time up until 2013, and then we got in the same reach, so we played them every year. Then we had that Super 32 for a couple of years in like 16 and 17, and they, they'd done away with that, so we still stayed in the same region. And uh, they're the team to beat, you know, until somebody knocks him off that perch. They've won it 20 plus years in the region with only one loss. And as Damien says, they're Maribel is Maribel. And uh, what do you guys, Ask you something, you coach. Probably don't want to talk about rankings. You guys look at rankings. You talk about those, or coach. I know he doesn't like to talk about them. He won't talk about them. He he don't want you reading all the hype and believing everything about how great you guys could be I mean, until you prove it on the field. Is that is that your mindset too? To you know ignore the rankings. Just get out there and play football. Yeah, I ignore the rankings. I don't yeah. really care about the rankings. Just ignore them all the way. Yeah. How about you, Jackson? Yeah, I ignore them. I don't look at social media that much. I'm. It's probably a good thing. And when you get out there uh, on the field, that's when it all matters anyway when we kick off that ball. Did the heat bother you guys last week? 
Uh, not much. I have it, no problem. It wasn't as bad as what they said it was going to be. It didn't seem to be, and, and, and uh, nobody kept cramping up, you know. I think we had two guys from Tyner got banged up a little bit and walked off the field, but it wasn't a heat thing there. Uh, question I always like to ask before we wrap things up here. Football's over with in your life. Jackson, what are you going to be doing if I, I look you up 20, 25 years from now? What are you going to be doing? Hopefully retired. Retired. <laughs> okay. Jarris, you have a career picked out. Are you going to be retired like Jackson? Or uh, you going to have a big family, a bunch of kids? Or what are your plans? I don't even know. Nope? No, I don't know. You don't know? No. Nah. All right. Well, nah. you got a long time to decide. Nah. You guys are young here. But, uh, well, I want to thank both of you for being here today and uh, on Talk 101.3 as we talk about our weekly players with our players on an interview each week. And wish you the best of luck tonight when this airs. And also, let's stay injury free and see if we can get our first win over Melbourne in a long time, be on top of the region when this game ends Friday night. Folks, I encourage you to come out early because it will be a full house, we think. The weather's going to cooperate. It's going to be beautiful, cool. Hopefully the rain and storms like that will stay away. We'll have a big football game here at Brighton Central on Friday night. Until next week, this is Gary Olmey saying so long for now. God bless and go Bears!